Morning guys, Thursday afternoon at this point, uh, so it's no longer morning I suppose. Uh, I went to my welding fabrication shop this morning to see if they could fabricate me a uh, couple inner rocker panels and uh, I needed some 18 gauge steel which is what was factory on this truck for the inner and the uh, the uh, center support. Well, what I found out is their shop isn't capable of uh, bending sheet metal. They're geared up more for 16 gauge and thicker sheet metal, or not necessarily sheet metal, but uh, plate and things like that. And uh, they referred me to a couple other places that were a little bit of a drive and a little bit of an inconvenience, so I decided that uh, I'd come back to the shop and do a little more investigation. So, driver's side, here we go. Put your seat belts on. try and stay back a little ways. This right here is the inner rocker panel. Now, you see that long piece of rusty shit that's on the floor there was the panel that went from here all the way down to there. It's like an intermediate uh, cab support, whatever you want to call it. And I was just going to have a piece of like six inch tall metal bent with a one inch lip on the bottom 90 degree bend so that I could put that back in here and roll it under this. Now I knew I needed to do some repair on this and as what I was going to do was cut some of this off where it's rusty and then scab a piece inside. And then once I got looking at it with these supports in it and all that and welding it up I decided you know what let's cut that intermediate piece off which I did. You can see where I cut vertical there. More spot weld drilling. Hope you got a hungry spot weld cutter and a good one at that. So, upon further inspection, I wasn't sure until I cut this out if this inner rocker was flanged and welded to the floor of the cab or if there was a flange and it was spot welded this way. Turns out it's spot welded from this side. So, what we have to do, and when I say we, I mean I, Drill the spot welds out on the cab support. There's four, or maybe that's six. There and there, and spot welds all the way underneath this lip. A little bit of seam sealer coming down through there, too, or panel adhesive. I'm not sure which. Excuse me, guys. I've been fighting the sinus crap for about a month now, and it's not going away. So um, we got to drill all those spot welds out. Me and the uh, mouse in my pocket, I guess, are going to drill those spot welds out. And uh, here's a new panel. That is what an inner rocker looks like. Now, you can see, you know, we have a full length inner rocker panel here. Beautiful. And of course, it's straight on top. There's no flange there. And this is the direction it gets installed up on this driver's side. You can also tell, of course, we stop short on the outer rocker here. And then this intermediate one is solid from here going forward toward the fender. It's got some crust in the bottom of it, but I think I explained before we're going to phosphoric acid the hell out of that after I descale it. Because that's 14 gauge sheet metal and this is 18. It's still got a lot of beef left in it. So what we're going to do is this is the last crusty spot on it right here and I'm gonna cut it off probably somewhere up in here and we'll cut this panel to fit so that we can install that which means more cutting more cutting and more cutting um, this is part of that intermediate panel back by the cab corner I gotta cut some of this out it's a little scaly, but it's not rotten, and it's also 18 gauge sheet metal. It's heavy. It's it's weak right here, but I'm gonna cut that out. I'm gonna draw all the spot welds off of the inner rocker, and I'll show you what I got once I get that all out of there. Um, I think I showed drilling a couple spot welds. It's a tedious, long process. Um, they make a drill for it that's a dedicated tool, not just a bit for your. Uh, for your cordless or for a handheld or a pneumatic drill, whatever you got. So I'm going to draw all those out and I'll show you what I got once I get that cleaned up and out of the way. So I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, I went
went and picked up those inner rockers. 90 bucks a piece, but I think it was uh, well worth it, other than the aggravation of drilling out another 15 spot welds and killing another spot weld cutter. So I've got it clamped up here. I've got it overlapped up in the front. Um, I do have a little more trimming to do. I hate cannibalizing this stuff, but you got to do what you got to do to make it work. So, there's a piece off of it, and there's another piece. But uh, basically what I did was trim the existing uh, right a little bit under this line right here. And then I just wanted to test fit it up in there. I still need to trim a little bit more off because I don't think we can get enough light up in there. But there's still about an eighth of an inch gap from it hitting the floorboard where it needs to be. So I'm going to take a little bit more off of that end down there. Get that all fitting nice, nice. I still got a, I got a pile of tools underneath me here. I still got to dig out more seam sealers so that I can cut this cab corner maybe at an angle up a little bit higher here. So that when I make, I still have to make, I can't find one for this intermediate rocker uh, that goes straight down into here and then has another flange that butts up against this one. So when you weld your outer rocker, there'll be a spot weld on the bottom of this one and then a spot weld or plug weld on the bottom of that intermediate that gets put in. And I bought some 22 gauge, which is body sheet metal. It's almost too thin. I thought, thought about going back and getting some 16 gauge because nobody seems to have 18 gauge around here which is what I need and just make a panel to go from here down to here with a 90 degree on it an inch long um, the other thing I thought about doing was right where the door striker is in this area was to uh, just put a thick piece of 16 gauge with the bend on it here to give that reinforcement I feel like I should do it the right way, which I normally do. Um, I'm getting kind of stressed out about this just because it's sort of kicking me in the ass. Uh, I had a couple comments last night. Uh, I appreciate. Ooh, hello. Move that pile of shit out of the way. Um, appreciate all the comments, guys, and the support on this one. Um, anybody who does any rust repair, serious rust repair, restorations knows that you just have to be patient. There is no production way to do this without getting sort of pissed off at yourself. Um, you just got to test fit and take it off and test fit and uh, put it back on and then sometimes you even tack stuff into place and don't like it and have to cut it apart again. Um, that's why you don't solid weld anything until you get everything in place. But uh, this is looking good. I mean it's fitting nice and uh, we're just going to do a little trim trim on it. I want to take it off here. I'll put you guys on the stand and uh, show you. Uh, I can't remember if I showed what that looks like underneath. But I'll show you how I did it, whether it's the right way or not. I suppose the right way is to dismantle the cab corner up far enough to cut both of those pieces out. But I don't feel like that rocker was tall enough to cover it all. That's why I sort of been nibbling at it. where I was saying I need to trim more is this area right here and this happens to be standing by the phone's ringing um, this is the back cab support right here and it is solid as a rock in there it's just had some surface scale on it which I buzzed off the grinder real quick and that's why I sort of went like this um, the reason I didn't cut it off square you know it's got sort of a rounded edge to it um, that's less stress on the metal when it t tends to uh, expand and contract and twist and things like that. Um, hard corners are hard on a weld, especially with sheet metal. So that's why we're doing it this way. And uh, you saw how that cab corner was over, or I'm sorry, the inner rocker was overlapped up into here. And I'm going to leave it as a lap joint like that. There's no reason to do anything different. Uh, probably clean up the back side before I assemble 
and uh, we'll get some etch primer on that and or um, some epoxy on the back side and put some uh, seam sealer so that the shit doesn't get into that seam back there and then we got to clean up that whole area along here where all these spot welds are drilled you can see I got a little carried away in a couple spots it didn't feel like it was going through and then I punched through the metal no biggie um, that won't hurt anything and uh, there's an intermediate cab support behind the uh, front seat and then the front one under the front seat and then there's another one even farther up um, for the body mount so the front and the rear is where the body mounts are and there's one in here that front one does not have a body mount underneath it there's a second one back that you see there the double um, one is the one that has the uh, cab mount in it the rest of them are just cab support for the floor and probably for impact and things like that um, so that's where I'm at for right now I'm gonna clean this up a little bit more then I'm gonna trim 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 a little bit more and I'll bring you guys back when I got something a little bit further. See ya. All right, I'm back already. I said I was going to bring you back when I got a little bit more done. But um, see if I got you guys in close enough to see what I'm actually doing here. Sorry about that. Hit the stop button. All right, we're going to zoom you in a little bit here on that back corner. Hopefully I can stay in the picture here. You can see what's going on. I'm basically going to uh, take a little bit more off the back of this inner cab. Uh, inner rocker. God, I'm so t still tired from yesterday. I had two cups of coffee in the Mountain Dew and I'm still not in the zone. It's about 3 o'clock, I think, in the afternoon, 10 till 3. So we're going to take off just a wee bitty bit more. see how that all works out. When you're doing these metalwork jobs, uh, get yourself a stock up of these cutoff wheels here. You make the job go a little quicker than the pneumatic ones do. Safety glasses. Respirator is probably not a bad idea, or at least dust mask. things like Darren has to router speed control or whatever to slow these grinders down because they just zip and they bite. You never know.
So hope everybody's having a good day out there. A lot going on here. No snow yet. We're not forecasting any maybe and then next week. snake pit here. I got wires and cords and hairline and everything else all over the place. Here we go. Now you guys, every time you, you see a clip of me uh, showing some work here, it's me finishing something, but it just takes so damn long in between to, to do it, so I apologize. I'm trying to show you the impo important points, but that's, I believe, the way I want that to fit, the way we got right here. So we see we got that fitting nice, nice in that corner. That's going to be a lap weld right there. And I'll beat all this in to make contact. Now I'm, I am going to clean up these rough edges with the grinder before I weld it. As well as I'll put some weld through primer on the back of all this that can't get primered up later. Um, and then we'll take up here and uh, where this X is, it's overlapping the other one. Which is okay. I don't have a problem with that. I can always make it a, a, a butt joint from the back side if I really want to. Um, just scribe it on the back side and then cut that little bit off and butt weld it up together and then make my intermediate so that's where we're at for right now and uh, I'm gonna keep plugging away here guys so I'll catch up with you in a little bit okay guys it is 10 after 6 no sorry 20 till 6 Thursday still Thursday all day it look like I got the same amount of shit done that I had before. There's driver side in a rocker, and I finished the passenger side in a rocker, getting it cut out and cleaned up and all that happy stuff. So it's ready. All I got to do is uh, I got to get some phosphoric acid to get on some of that rust, do a little grinding cleanup work, and uh, I'm not going to be on this job tomorrow. Maybe in the afternoon if I have time. Um, that one fits pretty good too. They both fit about the same. Still not overly enthused with uh, how close that fits right there. There's probably a uh, half inch or quarter inch, but I'll beat it into submission. It'll fit. And everything else looks pretty good. Probably what I'm going to do is right where those vice clamps are, I'm going to put a tack in it there, and I'm going to slap the uh, outer rocker over it just to make sure that this bottom lip is where it's supposed to be. I believe it is. Uh, trial fit the cab corner, put the rear doors on, make sure all of that is copacetic. Um, notice I got some light on this side. I forgot I built that last year. It's been sitting in the corner. Funny how you build things out of necessity and then you go back to your old ways of not having it in the first place. So um, hopefully uh, I'll get this one uploaded for you. I don't know what's going on with either it's my computer or my internet connection or something but we have high speed DSL and the 30 minute video that I tried to upload for you last night um, 
it didn't fail it just it, it wouldn't start so I tried restarting it and uh, it got like one or two percent done I restarted it a third time let it go all night and it was still at two percent it will not upload so I don't think there's anything wrong with the video I think it's maybe a YouTube thing um, tell me if you guys are having any uh, upload speed problems it was telling me a 30 minute video that I compressed to like one 186 meg file which isn't too too big I've uploaded way bigger before I've uploaded hour videos or 45 minute videos before and uh, it uh, it just won't go it was telling me like 800 minutes which there's just no way um, the one the night before said the same thing and it actually finished um, the middle of the morning the following day so I don't know what the hell is going on maybe there's a lot of traffic uploading maybe um, Google is doing some work on their servers or something's going on and they don't have enough to uh, support the people that are trying to upload at this time I don't know maybe it's just me so uh, at any rate guys hope you had a good day and uh, get out in the garage and do something hit the record button um, I've been trying to catch up on some videos at night here when I get home but it's six o'clock and I am dragging right now I've run all over trying to get parts for this truck today I spent two hours going to get these inner rockers and uh, I also bought some sheet metal here I got a couple small panels um, like I was saying before welding supply place does not carry uh, anything smaller than 16 gauge so I had to go to TSC and pick those uh, 20 gauge up which is fine for doing sheet metal repairs but it's uh, it's pushing the envelope on this it's a little on the thin side for the inner um, if I would have just been patching some holes in the outer I would have totally put that in there but uh, at any rate I'm gonna use it because it's what I got and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one hopefully this one will upload have a good night